We begin with a single image capturing the horrors of war in Syria. A shocked and bloodied five-year-old boy recovered from debris after an airstrike on his home in Aleppo. Little Omran, now a powerful symbol of human suffering, amid renewed pleas for Russia and the United States to do more. CCTV's Jim Spamlin is in the newsroom with the details. Jim. Asiye, they're difficult to look at, but these images are startling the world and bringing new attention to the ongoing humanitarian crisis in Syria, and especially in the city of Aleppo. In the video and still images from the scene, we see this five-year-old boy identified as Omran Daknish being pulled from a damaged building, put into an ambulance. His face bloody, his body covered with dust from the rubble. Video was distributed by a group aligned with the opposition. A journalist on the scene says the damage came from an airstrike and that at least three people were killed in the attack, which happened Wednesday. The boy suffered head wounds, but thankfully uh, is expected to recover. He was later released from the hospital. The war in Syria has already killed an estimated 250,000 and displaced millions. The situation has become even more dire in recent weeks as both sides are locked in a stalemate in the eastern part of Aleppo. Meantime, food and other supplies there are running low. There have been some attempts to open up humanitarian corridors and establish brief ceasefires, but none of those efforts has taken hold. The U.N. Special Envoy for Syria halted a meeting of a humanitarian task force after just eight minutes out of frustration, saying both sides need to do more. The U.N. is now calling for a 48-hour ceasefire to allow humanitarian aid into those hardest-hit areas of Aleppo, wants the Russians and the Americans to help push both sides towards a ceasefire and ultimately a long-term diplomatic solution to the conflict, Asiye. You know, Jim, people say, you know, Omran is not alone in this conflict. So many others like him are suffering. So I guess my question to you is, what are, are there any hopes for a lasting long-term ceasefire? Well, I'll tell you, images like this are certainly placing more pressure on both the Russians and the Americans, as well as people on the ground in, in Syria. The Russians, who are aligned with the Syrian government forces and the U.S., which supports the opposition, both say they back the idea of a ceasefire. And we're in a set of serious discussions right now with, uh, uh, with uh, Russian counterparts about Aleppo specifically, but also about trying to get um, these proposals in place for a nationwide cessation of hostilities that can actually be uh, enforced. It won't be easy for either side to hammer out those details, though next week we expect the U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry and Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov to meet in Geneva to discuss Syria, amongst other issues. But even if the Russians and the Americans agree to a ceasefire, there's no guarantee that fighters on the ground will abide by it. In the past, both sides have feared the other could gain a tactical advantage in this ongoing stalemate if there's any halt in the fighting, Asiye. All right, CCTV's Jim Spellman, thank you.